Hi everybody, Dr. Brett Talley Daniel, MD. I'm a neurologist and a headache doctor. Discussing today the subject of topiramate, preventive medicine for migraine prevention. So, uh, this drug came out as Topamax, originally for treating epilepsy, and then it had a later addition for treatment and coverage by, for migraine by the FDA. And it's, since then it's gone generic, and they brought out two name brand drugs called Trichendia XR and Qdexia XR, which are longer acting drugs. So, is topiramate an adequate preventive drug for treating migraine? Yes. The American Academy of Neurology Update for Headache Coverage says that it is a good preventive drug, and I quote what they state that topiramate is established as effective and should be offered for migraine prevention, and it's a level A, which is the highest level you can have as an endorsement from the American Academy of Neurology. What are the available dose sizes of terpiramate? As Topamax, the short-acting drug, which is about 12 hours in duration, it comes as a sprinkle cab, cap, which is 15, 25 milligrams, and then a tablet, which is 25, 50, and 100, and 200, and then Trocandia XR and Qdexi XR. It comes an extended release, they call it ER cap, which is 50, 100, and 200 milligrams. All right, how do you dose it? Well. The recommended dose to start is 100 milligrams, and the max is 200 milligrams a day. So you should start with either topiramate, the short-acting, or the long-acting, 25 milligrams once a day for the long-acting drug, and twice a day uh, in the second week for topamax, topiramate, the short-acting drug. And you slowly increase by 25 milligrams every week, so you get to a total of 100 milligrams in about a month. So, Topamax to Pyramate, the short-acting drug you take every 12 hours, it would be like on a, what's called a BID schedule, or every 12 hours, 7 in the morning, 7 in the evening. So, Trachendia XR QDEX here, you can just dose it once a day. Now, I suggest all patients stay at least 4 to 6 weeks on Topiramate just to see if it works. Now, a lot of patients want to take a drug a couple of weeks and stop it, but really you need four to six weeks. You ought to document your headaches by uh, using a headache diary or one of the apps that you can chart headaches to see how you're doing. Side effects. The FDA has listed possible side effects as psychomotor slowing, somnolence, word finding difficulties, numbness, usually in distal fingers and hand and feet, weight loss, <clears throat> insomnia, anxiety, decreased sweating and hyperthermia, second angle glaucoma, closure, kidney stones, especially in men, possible birth defects, and metabolic acidosis. However, a large European study published several years ago could not confirm that topiramate has an increased risk of kidney stones, but it's still on the product information sheet when you fill the drug prescription in America, according to the FDA. My experience also is a lot of women like topiramate because of the advertised chance of losing weight. And the most common startup symptoms of using the drug are what's called paresthesias, or numbness and tingling in the fingers, distally, and in your toes. You also get a weird symptom taking topiramate where Coca-Cola, Dr. Pepper, or soda fountain drinks taste flat. Now, the word finding difficulty, trouble in memory, have earned topiramate the lay name of Dopamax, Dopamax with a D. And the symptoms can be troublesome, but it's really a dose-related symptom. So if the patient is having word finding difficulty or memory trouble at 100 milligrams, I would just drop their dose to 75 and usually go the way. But the problem there is you reduce the dose of the drug effective for treating migraine. Now, you can draw a blood level of topiramate, and there's a high level and a low, le low level of the drug. And if you take the Topamax topiramate, the original drug, as it came out, the short-acting drug, uh, the problem with that is it sometimes will go over the high level and below the low level, and so you have more side effects from it. But um, Trochendia XR and Qdexia XR pretty much stay in the middle 
between high and low uh, blood levels and don't have as many side effects because of that. What's the effectiveness of a tamiramate? Well, it can reduce headache about 30 to 40 percent. Are there other uses for tamiramate? Yes, current FDA indications are for epilepsy and migraine, but it also is one of the secondary drugs that may be used for treatment of benign, essential, or what's called familial tremor. And it's also a drug that's used occasionally for bipolar disorder. So I hope this discussion is useful to you in understanding how tapiramate works and is a good drug for prevention of migraine. And um, um, my concerns and heart goes out to all you migraine sufferers. God bless you. Hope you're well. And I'll catch you again on another talk.